Last year, I reviewed the Lenovo Yoga 920, one of the best two-in-one convertibles. It was powerful for an ultra portable. It was pretty good in terms of the display and it had pen support. I really loved its design and excellent build quality. And now I have its follow-up in the studio. This is the Lenovo Yoga C930. It's an upgrade in a lot of ways. It's also got one of the best sounding speakers on this. So it's almost like a sound bar in a sense. It's fantastic. It's got a gorgeous 4K UHD display. It's got eight generation quad core CPU and it has a built-in pen. That's right. You don't have to stick it anywhere magnetically. It has a silo in the device itself. Hey everybody, it's Andrew and this is the unboxing and review of the Lenovo C930 coming up. Today's video is brought to you by Zero and Nine, your one-stop shop for Windows 10 professional OEM keys, Microsoft Office keys, as well as Steam CD keys, and so much more. All the links below for more information and where you can get these great discounts. And also a special discount code for my viewers. Want to see more videos like this? Well, why not hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification icon. This way you'll be alerted every time I post a new video. And don't forget to check me out on my social media, especially Twitter, because that's where I post all the latest updates. Powering the Yoga C930 is Intel's 8th generation processors, either the Core i5 or the Core i7, their quad core. And you can get it with either 8 or 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. Storage options start at 256 gigabytes, up to one terabyte of PCIe SSD storage. Display options, you can get it either with a full HD display or do what I did, get it with the UHD 4K display. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. Now pricing starts at around 1100 or so dollars, all the way up to about 2000 now pricing will vary depending on whether Lenovo is having a sale. I'll put the latest pricing in the link below. And when it comes to the color options, you have two, iron gray or what I have here, mica. It's a more of a champagne gold color. It's very subtle, very elegant, and very nice looking. I really do like it. But enough with the specs, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. Now packaging is pretty typical for Lenovo. It's pretty nice. Opening the lid, you're greeted by the laptop itself. It's a really nice unboxing experience. Kudos to Lenovo. Now you get your power adapter. It's a 65 watt adapter. It's pretty compact, pretty good. You also use USB-C to charge this device, so that's good to see. And you get your three prong extension cable. You get some documentation and warranty information, and of course the unit itself, it's thin, it's light, it's gorgeous. I like this mica color, it's a subtle champagne color, and I like the way it looks. It, to me, it's a very elegant looking device. On the right side, you have your power button, which also has an LED indicator light, letting you know the device is powered on or is charging. And on the left side, you have a USB 3.1 Type-A, two USB-C Thunderbolt 3 ports that support four lanes. So if you want to connect to an external GPU, you have that option, as well as connecting to multiple 4K monitors and, of course, a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. The Yoga C930 does have a digital pen and you store it in the device itself. I really like that implementation. I don't have to worry about losing it anywhere, throwing it in a bag. I like the fact you can store it in the device itself. And the other thing I like is that it uses the Wacom AES technology. It doesn't require any batteries. It actually is rechargeable. And when you put it in its silo, it charges the pen. And to me, that's a great solution as I don't have to hunt down quadruple A batteries, which are hard to find sometimes and can get expensive over the long haul. Now the pen itself is a bit on the small side, but it does have 4,096 levels of pressure sensitivity. And because it uses that Wacom AES technology, there are other pens which are bigger that you can buy as third party solutions if you don't like the size of this pen. But to me, the convenience factor of being able to store it in the device is certainly a key factor here. And the pen itself works really well, great for taking notes in a classroom or in a meeting, and of course, sketching out some artwork. Overall, I think it's a nice job by uh, Lenovo. The star of this show has to be its gorgeous 13.9 inch UHD 4K display with a resolution of 3840 by 2160, that's 317 pixels per inch. It's also a Dolby Vision display, making it perfect for watching high dynamic range content. It is simply stunning. Now the Full HD model also has Dolby Vision as well, and that's good to see. And with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, it's perfect for consuming media. Watching Netflix, YouTube, and the like is a pleasure on this display. But for productivity, I prefer the 3 by 2 aspect ratio you get with the Surface line. 
Now this is a very glossy display and it's also a bright display but not the brightest in its category at 325 nits. It's good enough for indoor and outdoor use of course but of course in direct sunlight you may have some issues that's due to that high glossy display. It's got some pretty thin bezels on the top and the side. The bottom has a little bit of a chin as well but that's to be expected in a yoga device. And for those creative professionals out there, it does cover the color gamut pretty well at 112% sRGB, not the highest in the category, but definitely good in its own right. You're looking at some really deep black, some very vibrant colors. When it comes to a 4K display, this is one of the best ones in a convertible out there right now. They did a really nice job. And of course, this being a yoga convertible, you have the different modes you can put it into. This is the tent mode, great for recipes in the kitchen, consuming media, Netflix, YouTube. Same goes for stand mode, another great way to consume media. And of course, you can put it into tablet mode, great for use with the pen to take notes in a classroom or a meeting, or just to relax on the sofa and do some web surfing. But to be honest, most of the time I use it like this, in laptop mode. Now you're probably wondering, well, how's the performance on the Yoga C930? It's actually pretty good. Now I went with the Core i7-8550U processor. That's an eighth generation quad core processor from Intel. And it has 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, making this a great productivity machine, a great media consumption machine. But as far as gaming is concerned, while well, AAA titles are not really for this, the built-in graphics just can't handle that. But you can play some older titles on lower settings. That will definitely work. But again, if you want to connect an eGPU, you have that option with the Thunderbolt 3 support on this device that has support for four lanes. Now, thin laptops typically get pretty warm under heavy workload, but the C930 remained relatively cool when I watched a 15-minute Full HD video. The hottest location was on the bottom. It topped out around 98 degrees Fahrenheit, which was above the 95-degree comfort threshold. And the center of the keyboard got around 96 degrees, which is a bit warm, but the touchpad remained pretty cool at 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Now the reason it stays so cool is because it has two fans. Now typically in a two-in-one convertible thin and light laptop like this, you normally would only get one. Here obviously you get two and that certainly helps with the cooling. And while we're inside the device, let's see what's user upgradable. Now as far as the SSD, you can upgrade it yourself if you want to, but I don't know why you'd want to as you're getting some really excellent reads and writes with that NVMe PCIe SSD. And here's the Wi-Fi card for those wondering. Now, as far as the RAM is concerned, it's soldered on. It's not user upgradable. So when you're checking out, make sure you choose enough RAM for your needs. Now, something of note while we're inside the device is these two subwoofers on the bottom. They look like speakers, but Lenovo says they're actually subwoofers. Now, don't forget, this also has that excellent sound bar. We'll go over that in just a little bit. Now, also of note is a 60 watt hour battery, which is very large for a thin and light two in one convertible. And for those wondering, it's actually pretty easy to get inside this device. Just unscrew the various screws on the bottom plate and that's pretty much it. Now getting back to that 60 watt hour battery, it actually did pretty well in my continuous web surfing test over Wi-Fi for 150 nits. Now I have the UHD 4K version. Of course, that'll draw more power than the full HD version. As you can see from the results, that is the case. Now at six hours and 45 minutes, it's not too bad. But again, it depends on what you're doing with the device. Now if you go with the full HD version, you're going to get over eight hours as evidenced by these results. And if you find yourself needing to plug in, well, it does come with a compact 65 watt power adapter and will charge the device from zero to 100% in just under two hours, which isn't too bad. But without a doubt, one of the best new features of the C930 is its sound bar. It's simply fantastic. One of the best sounding speaker systems on an ultra portable. And it has Dolby Atmos. Now let's hear it in action. I recently did a video shoot on my newly acquired Tesla Model 3. I will be premiering that video very soon on my channel, so if you're not already subscribed, make sure you are, and make sure you hit that notification bell, because this way you'll be alerted every time I post a new video. I put a lot of really hard work and effort into this one, so I'm excited to bring it to you.
Without a doubt, this soundbar is ingenious. It's one of the best sounding laptops I've ever used. That includes the 15 inch MacBook Pro, which I have is actually has some really great speakers in their own right. But this to me takes it to another level. I love the way they did this engineering with this soundbar. In all the different modes, you're going to get the benefit of that soundbar. Now, when it comes to logging in and security, you do have one option. That's a fingerprint sensor and it's located just below the keyboard on the right side of the device. Setup was easy and registered my finger pretty much every time I used it. No real complaints here, does the job. Now, as far as Windows Hello Login, that's your only option. There is no Windows Hello Camera. Now, speaking of the camera, it does have a privacy button where you can turn it off for security and privacy reasons, and that's pretty good as well. So this is the front-facing camera on the Lenovo C930. It's a 720p, 30 frames per second camera, and it's a bit grainy, not very good. I was hoping to get a 1080p webcam on this. We don't get that here. I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. So, so, I guess you can do Skype with this and video conferencing. We'll certainly get the job done, but I was hoping for a little bit better from this camera. But I want, again, I want to know what you think. Let me know. While it may not have the legendary keyboard as a ThinkPad, one of my favorites of all time, it actually has a pretty good keyboard. At 1.3 millimeters of key travel, it's a bit on the shallow side, but it was definitely good for long-term typing. And it also is a backlit keyboard, so if you want to get work done in a dark room, you have that option. And the touchpad's actually pretty good. No real complaints here. It's very responsive. Two-finger scrolling works well. Windows 10 just as work is advertised. Again, it gets the job done. It's actually pretty good. So to wrap things up, can I recommend the all-new Lenovo Yoga C930? The main points here is excellent UHD 4K display, outstanding audio without soundbar, getting pretty decent battery life on the Full HD version, and I love the ability to store the pen in the device. There are no real deal breakers here, ladies and gentlemen. The main negatives here is the display could be brighter, but it's not terrible. And it doesn't have any storage expansion, no SD card slot and no micro SD card slot. So that's a little bit of a negative, but I think this is one of the best convertibles on the market. I'm gonna give it a score of 90%, making the Yoga C930 worth your money. So what do you think about the Lenovo Yoga C930? Really nice upgrade over the 920 from last year. The big, biggest thing here is this sound bar on the hinge. A great use of the hinge, great engineering, great sound, full, rich, has bass, gets loud. I think it's one of the best sounding ultra portables I've ever heard uh, up to date. So that's pretty good. Now I like the quad core CPU. It's the Core i7. It's performed well as you'd expect in an ultra portable. It's got pretty good performance over last generation's processors. Of course, uh, I really do like it. Now this is the mica color. There's also an iron gray, which is a very space gray looking color. I actually like it. It's like a light champagne. It's actually very elegant and classy looking. What do you think of the design? It's actually really nice. It's thin. It's light. I like the rounded off edges. It's really very industrial looking in a lot of ways. It's also very elegant looking. I really do like this build and construction. But again, this isn't cheap. This will come in at around $1,600 or so dollars. So Lenovo does have a lot of sales. So you can probably pick this up during holiday season at a discount. So keep your eyes open for that. If I hear anything, of course, I'll put the link in the description below to get you those savings. Uh, it's not cheap, but then again, you're getting some really high-end features, especially that gorgeous 4K UHD display. Now, I also like the fact that it has Thunderbolt 3 support. Everything you pretty much want in an ultra portable, thin light, and with that gorgeous display, and of course, the pen. Now, the pen is really good because you can store it in the device. You don't have to worry about losing it, sticking it into another bag or something, getting lost and so forth. Here, you don't have to worry about batteries. It charges when it's in the device itself, so that's great. You don't have to worry about getting quadruple A batteries, which are hard to find and can get expensive over the long haul. So I like that implementation. Now, it's a little bit small, but it does use the Wacom AES technology, so there are other pens available that you can use with this as well if you want a bigger pen. What do you think of the Lenovo Yoga C930? I like it. It's an excellent two-in-one here in late 2018. So please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.